some young broke dude. Seems you need more growing up if you expect a woman or girl to not speak. You really wouldn't understand how she's feeling mentally. Women and girls have sensitive emotions and feeling. Up to you to understand. It's a joke. Take it easy. I thought white knights were gone. I'm a 14-year-old girl and I met someone online who's a 22-year-old guy and he basically tried to get us to meet up and do sexual things. But I kept bluffing, saying no, and I reported him to the local police, but I'm still scared even though they're doing an investigation on it. And I feel unsafe and paranoid. How do I cope? Rolls up sleeves. PM me their username. I'll take things into my own hands. If this despicable son of a bitch is gonna play with fire, he's gonna get the same treatment. Oh, whenever the media talks about sex robots, keep in mind that the concept is rooted in misogyny and male entitlement. The whole point is that a fembot can't say no, which should be a major red flag. Vibrators can't ask for a consent either. God, I'm so sorry for how men treat women. It must be terrible. Can I tell you something? I haven't eaten pussy in so long and I miss it. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I overstepped my boundaries. You probably hate me now. Fuck, I'm so fucking sorry. Men are a joke. Oh no, I'm offended. Oh, you sure got me. Let me rant on Twitter about it now. Oh. Seems like that's exactly what you're doing. They all displayed their intelligence, and all you displayed is that you have deep-seated issues with women. Good luck with that, and I hope for everyone that has the fortune interacting with you that you grow as a person. Why do you think all sex acts need to result in reproduction? Have you really never enjoyed a blowjob? <laughs> no, only fucking idiots who watch too much porn enjoy blowjobs. Seriously, dude, think about the degeneracy in which you are taking part. Think about it. Like, actually think about it. You're just watching porn and acting it out. There is nothing enjoyable about a blowjob. I feel bad that some girls have to lie to guys about coming. I've been lucky in that all of the guys I have sex with don't care if I come. Every time I hear a joke like this, I think, man, I want to help her come. Not in a I want to have sex with you way, but in a I have a strong sense of empathy and want to do everything in my power to make you feel better way. Is that weird? Dear OB, I'll be straightforward. I have seen some comments on this post which I genuinely felt was inappropriate. For that, I believe we should apologize. Some of these were just straight up or partially disgusting and wrong. Sorry that you had to see such comments on your first post. Nobody should ever experience such a thing. For the others, please, please do not post inappropriate and messed up comments. You need to realize that this is a real human being, not a character. I see such comments like, no not November, haha <laughs> funny. No. Just know, once again, apologies for seeing such things. It's a terrible experience. Besides that, great cosplay. Keep it up. P.S. Sorry for spoiling the mood. Yours sincerely, a Redditor. Hey, Queen. I saw your tweet about how men are trash, and I just wanted to let you know that I agree. Although I myself am a man, I know, ugh, I am on your side. One of the good ones, as some might say. By the way, I never even noticed how fat your boobies are until now, but they're awesome. I'm losing my mind! <laughs> my dog looks sexier, to be honest, to be honest. You're just mad the only thing you'll ever get to fuck is your dog. Well, the boss white knights appeared. Hi, I am so honored to be one of your friends. You mean a lot to me and you helped me get through some of my problems. You are such an amazing friend and I do not regret ever talking to you. You mean a lot to me and I hope to continue making memories with you throughout high school and band. You keep undermining and underestimating yourself and it bothers me that people keep nothing you and call you things like whore. I'm sorry all that stuff happens and I wish I could help but make it stop. Ladies, on behalf of sane, reasonable men, I apologize for the comments here from other men who don't have the wherewithal to realize that they're exactly who this post is talking about. Those of us who are evolved are trying. Please don't let these other assholes forever turn you against all of us. I can hear your horse now. <laughs> Did any ladies inbox you after posting this or are you still single? The hotel receptionist girl looks so anxious and panicky. It's because she knows Daniel's rude ass is recording. <laughs> it's too bad, though. She has nothing to be ashamed of. She's beautiful, has coherent English, and seems intelligently self-conscious. Bruh, that's cringe. Regardless of how corny it sounds or how unhip it is, we owe it to ourselves to tell the truth and be objective about our perceptions at all times. No more white lies or trying desperately to be cool. She's beautiful, and that's the end of it. 
Today, while holding interviews with my GM, I came upon quite the situation. A woman came in for an interview. I could tell right away she was like me, an old heart, a lover of a less complex time, you could say, someone with morals. She dressed well. I hate when women come in for a secretarial role and make no effort on their appearance. Diet and cosmetics, ladies. It's just that simple. Anyway, boss man reaches out to shake her hand. I'm cringing watching her arm flail around violently, right as she's reaching out to do the same to me. Boss man comments, not much of a handshake you got there. Before she could interject or get upset, I stepped in. That's because you don't shake a woman's hand, they offer it to you. You take it gently and politely introduce yourself, turning to her. Hi there, ma'am. My name's Chris. Who do I have the pleasure of meeting today? I'm pretty sure in that moment she was picturing our future kids, guys. And yes, we are going to dinner Friday. Today, me and my girlfriend went into Sephora. I gave the classic sigh, followed by a monotone, whatever you want, babe. After a couple of minutes of looking around, she wanted to compare shades of makeup. Her being tan is all get out, and me being as pale as a whiteboard. I let her compare shades on my hand. No big deal. Just helping out my best friend. As we were walking out, a guy also with his girlfriend saw my hand and said, That's why I stand in the corner, bro. Ha ha ha. I initially laughed and nodded my head, but also noticed his girlfriend didn't laugh in the least. Just made me think, why is breaking away from the bro stigma such a hard thing for men these days? What about your farting, your obnoxious snoring when she sits through another game of Madden only because you asked her to? All the bullshit us men are all capable of, they put up with just because you are her favorite human. I'm not being anti-man or preaching like I'm better than the next, but it's just a thought. Fuck what anybody thinks. That's your woman. She'd do anything for you. Let her compare her makeup on your hand, carry her purse, buy her tampons, do things for her no matter how goofy or annoying or not bro it might be. That's your best friend, your teammate, who cares what anybody thinks. If you hit a girl just because she hit you, one, you have shitty parents, and two, you're a pussy. Crazy how many people disagree with this. Imagine any male hitting your mother or sister for any reason, no matter how deserving it is. If you nerds had respect for women, you wouldn't be in this situation anyways. On behalf of the male population, I apologize for this man. All white men are potential rapists. I once refused to accept this reality. It took me hours of looking myself in the eye in the mirror, telling myself that I'm a potential rapist. Only when I learned to accept this truth could I even contemplate considering myself a feminist. Fine face, $50. Perky boobs, $30. Flat tummy, $20. Tiny waist, $20. Wide hips, $40. Long legs, $30. Bubble butt, $50. Cents, $60. Nice dentition, $30. Girls, how rich are you? Guys, how rich is your girl? All women are priceless queens, so it don't matter. When you get your hair and nails done and all he notices is the money missing from his wallet. Money's just money. If she loves what she got done, I'm gonna be her hype man too. Men are trash. Men are fucking trash. They will always be trash. They won't change. No one or no incident can change them. They are fucking trash, period. Please don't ask what or why. Thank you. When you defend her on Instagram, but she doesn't fly to your house and suck your dick on the spot. What the cinnamon toast fuck is this? What would happen if men posted I hate women as much as women posted I hate men? Men don't post I hate women. Instead, they murder them, sexually assault them, attempt to legislate away their bodily autonomy, underpay them, require more work of them, and yes, pose irrational sexist hypotheticals for the internet to see. Huge ass titties. Oh, the boobs are really the first thing you people notice. Sad. Sure, getting hit in the balls hurts a lot, but we don't have to deal with it for an entire week every month since puberty. What is it with cis, white, straight men and their constant need to be oppressed? She still ain't gonna let you hit it, King. Our balls are not the size of a watermelon. It is possible for us to sit with our legs closed. She is exaggerating in this particular case, though, but it is not strange for men to invade women's space in public transport. May I please get a crumb of pussy? Women, imagine that for 24 hours there were no men in the world. No men are being harmed in the creation of this hypothetical. They will all return. They are safe and happy wherever they are during this hypothetical time period. What would or could you do that day? About 50% of the replies are women wanting to run or walk in the night. We, men, have failed as a species. Stop talking shit about girls, bro. Black women are inspiring. 
Indians are stunning. Spanish ladies are breathtaking. White girls. Native shorties are exhilarating. I had to shave my legs recently, and it made me at least 30% more of a feminist. Holy shit, what a pain in the ass. Ladies, y'all gotta do this on the regular. Society is an asshole. I want to enter something, but it's not the Sandman. Can you not be so fucking pervy, you nonce? She's a guitar player and singer, not a stripper, you spastic. Oof. phone sex line. Please say your name so the caller knows who they'll be talking to. Melvid. We will now patch you in with Portia. Hello? Hey there, big fella. You sound like a big hunk of man. Oh, well, thank you. You also sound nice. Thank you. What are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, I'm just sitting back and relaxing watching some family guy. Ooh, that's my favorite cartoon. What are you wearing? Listen, I I'm going to jump right to the point. I don't want to sexually harass a delicate, beautiful flower like you over the phone. I need a girlfriend, and you need to be rescued from whatever horrible place is making you make these phone calls. Um, uh, what? Whatever terrible dungeon they have you locked in and are forcing you to make these calls from. Tell me where you are. I will come for you. I will call the police and rescue you from the people who are holding you captive. Um, this is my job. This is how I make money. Are they there? Can they hear you talking? Are you speaking in code? What? No, are you out of your mind? You know, we've only just met and I've never seen your face, but I may be out of my mind because I think I'm falling in love with you. Uh... Tell me where you are and I'll find you. I'm at home. This is a work from home kind of deal. I'm at home. This is a work from home kind of deal. What are you... Are you writing that down? Yes, I've already contacted the police. They should be able to decode your message and find your location. I'm not in any trouble. I don't need saving. Not in trouble, don't need saving. Right, I got it. Anything else you need to tell me? Are they still there? Oh my fucking god. Portia? Portia! Oh my god, the call disconnected. They must have realized what she was doing. Hello, thank you for calling Simple Sensations phone sex line. All our operators are currently busy. Please hold for our next available operator. No, every second I'm away from her could be another second closer to her demise. <laughs> 